What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys. Happy Aliens Day! And today I have a review, fittingly, of the Hicks and Hudson 2 pack from the Aliens 30th Anniversary line. These guys are reissues of figures um, that have been out before, but I've never had them, so they're brand new to me. And you know what? I actually picked them up because uh, in honor of Bill Paxton's passing, you know, like I loved him as Hudson and I loved him in so many movies. So that was why I picked this up. Uh, Hicks and Hudson were great characters, love them. And, you know, Michael Bean's fantastic as well in that movie. Uh, just two actors that, you know, in my teenage years, I just loved and like watched so many movies with the two of them. So and and all came from these two roles, you know, from seeing them in those two roles. So while I have them there, I am gonna bring in a couple of aliens um, for size comparisons. Let's get them out of the way right now. Here is uh, the concept alien, if I could stand that him up here. Concept original alien. Just from a few different lines. I actually have none from Aliens, but that's okay. And, uh, there is the Mantis Alien from the Kenna line. It's gonna fall. It's probably gonna fall. I'm not staying, sending it up real well. And this is the Dog Alien. There you go. So chock full of aliens there. That's the video game. There, there you go. So that's some um, comparisons with the Aliens, some aliens in the line. How about some Power Rangers and a Batman? And of course, what's a party without Figure Arts Ultraman? So there you go. Checking out what these guys come with. We have, um, both of them come with these shoulder lights, you know, shoulder flashlights. Unfortunately, like, see, there's a space in there to put them on. They won't stay. Is this one that goes on here? Actually, it's not. I think these go on the little, I have a little holster. And it goes in there. So... There's that. Um, that's where that would go. But let's look at the light again. Decent sculpt. So yeah, that would go on the side. What goes on the back is uh, these lights. These are the shoulder lights. This is actually, I'm sorry, this is, I believe, uh, I believe this was like a motion tracker. Even though I know this is the bigger motion tracker but we'll take a look at that in a second i can't this is a motion tracker too isn't it handheld one am i wrong about that can't remember uh it's been a while since i've seen the movie so this is what i was talking about the the light so very nice looking and it's supposed to go back here but it doesn't really stay well at all so that's a bit of a bummer um but it is nice and then we got that motion tracker, the big one, with the shoulder strap. Looks really good. You know, you could put it on Hudson's shoulder here. So. He's reading it right, man. Um, so there's that. And then... So we got one of that, we got two of these, and we got two of these, and then we have Hicks's shotgun with the holster. The holster is really nice, nice sculpt on it. And that would also go around him. And then we got the shotgun itself, which is very, very nice. I like it a lot. So very cool. And then we got alternate heads. Um, first off, Hicks. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really think either Hicks face came out too good. 
it's there, but the eyes are so off on this, and the teeth are so off. The eyes especially. I could get a, we could get away with the teeth. The hair looks really good. Sculpted nicely. It's a decent enough sculpt. It doesn't look completely like him, but man, those eyes are terrible. Unfortunate. And, um, uh, but Hudson fares really well on both faces, I think. <laughs> he has that face. That's a classic worried Hudson face. So, I might, I might go with this on my shelf. That's too precious. <laughs> so let's bring in Hicks here. He is pretty cool. Um, this is a, you know, this is, a, this head sculpt is a little better. So he's screaming, this is the head sculpt. I'll keep on him. His eyes are a little cross-eyed here as well, it's unfortunate, but the screaming face isn't bad. It's not as bad and, you know, Put it like this, and I'm fine, and this is that's probably what I will do. So, there he is with his helmet. Uh, I don't think the helmet comes off. I haven't been able to pull it off, and nor do I want it. This flap on the back is on, uh, like, a little soft plastic. So, there's that. He's holding a pulse rifle here, as you can see. And we'll take that out. They both have pulse rifles. And that's gorgeous. Love the pulse rifle. I mean, one of the best things out of aliens are these pulse rifles. So iconic. Such an iconic weapon. And this is a great sculpt. Neck blew this one out of the park. Awesome, awesome, awesome looking. So I really, really like that. So, very cool. He's got a lot of straps and stuff. They're all like soft plastic on here. And that's sculpted well. Very nice stuff on his belt. It goes all the way around. It's a little loose, but it's not bad. So, and we can, let's see if we can put how the shotgun holds. He's got a hand for it. Perfect. Very nice. I dig that. So that looks good. Again, his head sculpt's a little unfortunate. And the helmet feels a little big, but they they did have really big helmet. They did have big big helmets, so... Let's take a look at his chest a little more. Very nice. Good paint. Nice paint all around. Camera on his head looks good. So pretty cool. I like this right here. The heart, whatever this is on there. I can't even remember at this point. But it's like raised and that's good. The armor looks nice. Painted. The camouflages look good. Never even noticed he had like some sort of symbol on his back. That's awesome. This is Lifer back there too. Very cool. I like it a lot. He's got a tap there. Very nice. His legs, legs look really good. His boots look really nice. Very, very well done. Very cool. I dig it a lot. His watch is sculpted nicely too here. Knee pads. All looks good. For articulation on Hicks, we have his head on a ball joint. It moves really well. Looks down that much. Looks up that much. So good motion there. Shoulders are tight, but functional. We got a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow. Hinge at the wrist with a swivel. There is a ab crunch in there and that could, turns as well as uh, a waist. So really good articulation there. Legs go about that far, come about that far. And you can twist it a bit. No like actual like upper thigh cut or anything like that. Double jointed knee. And then his legs have a bit of a tilt. And there's a foot uh, joint there, which is nice. So, and it can go back and forth. So, pretty good on your articulation department. Really good, actually. And it feels good. It feels like a really solid, solid figure, which is great to see. Let's take a look at Hudson, who I really got this pack for, and he looks amazing. That's a great head sculpt. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this, too? So, yeah, very, very cool. I like it a lot. Uh, I think that looks really good. 
good angry Hudson very nice all well, look at that that's really great detail on this helmet painted really great very nice his chest looks good he's got all the same type of um, it's a little different actually There's different sculpts which is nice I really you know made the straps unique which I, I appreciate so very very nice on his back says contents under pressure very cool I had something else I can't read it dispose of properly <laughs> And on the front, it has it says Louise on there, Hudson up there, Glory. Very good stuff. Really well painted and very nice. I love these straps here. That looks fantastic. The American flag up there looks nice. So again, he's got the gun, which looks good. Same gun. And for the most part, it looks like all of the same bottoms so pretty awesome and he's got all the same articulation so no need to go over that again so and it feels really good actually Hudson I feel like feels a little looser on mine in the waist well in the ab but it's not terrible so but there you go Higgs and Hudson I like it. I mean, to me, Hudson really makes this because he looks fantastic. But overall, the articulation is really nice, and you could definitely get him in a lot of different poses. And, uh, you know, if you turn Hicks the right way, you know, it's uh, it works. It'll work for your shelf. I wish it was just a bit better in the eyes, um, but, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> so pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to try to put their heads on because, uh, I don't know, I'll see, we'll try. Yeah, okay, there you go, we'll try one. I just don't know how hard it will be without warming these up because NECA sometimes you really have to warm them up. See, it's a little, he's on there, but it's, it's loose. But, uh, that looks great. <laughs> Why don't you put her in charge? Um... So yeah, I, I dig it. All right, guys, that's all I have on these two. Please check out my Facebook page, Ultrazilla Toys, for pics, for news, etc., all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, have a happy Aliens Day. Go watch one of the movies if you can. And uh, if you don't know why today is Aliens Day, it's 426, and the planet that they land on is LV 426. So there you go, Aliens Day designated. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out peeps. Game over, man!